Today's video is sponsored by NordVPN, the reliable VPN service designed to keep your internet usage secure. More on them later. They say that the human brain has a storage capacity that is in the range of 2.5 million gigabytes. That said, our memory can be rather selective. Fresh things are easily accessible, but over time, those memories, especially less significant ones, fade away. For instance, you can probably remember any of the conversations you had yesterday fairly well, even if not word for word. Now try to remember a conversation you had 10 years ago on this date. For most people, that's an impossible task, but there are some things you can do if you want to improve your memory, and some of them are quite unexpected. So make sure to bookmark this one in case you forget about it. Number 10, apple juice stimulates neurotransmitters. They say that an apple a day keeps the doctor away, but no one specified if you need to eat the thing. Some research suggests that you can juice it if you still want to get the remarkable benefits. In specific, apple juice has been shown in animal studies to help increase production of neurotransmitter acetylcholine. This is the key component in brain function, and in particular memory. Patients who suffer from Alzheimer's have shown that when acetylcholine levels are increased, it lowers the rate of mental decline. The working theory, based on the observations, is that if a person regularly drinks apple juice, they'll be able to maintain proper functioning of their brain and memory, as well as potentially delay Alzheimer's. Apples also contain antioxidants, which are believed to help memory and cognition as well. A 2006 study involving a group of patients aged 72 to 93 who had Alzheimer's showed that drinking four ounces of apple juice three times a week could reduce the risk of Alzheimer's by as much as 75%. Number 9. Doodling can boost memory by as much as 30%. Good news if you're one of those people who can't resist doodling on paper when you have a pen and an idle moment to spare. The simple act of doodling can apparently help focus your mind and improve memory and even understand new concepts and ideas better. To test the potential usefulness of a doodle, participants in one experiment were forced to sit and be bored. They were given a boring test and then moved to another room with nothing in it to hold their attention. They had to listen to a pre-recorded monotone phone message about people being invited to a party and write down the names of people who were coming while ignoring those who were not coming. One group had to only focus on the long, boring message. The other group was allowed to use a pencil to fill in little holes and boxes on the paper, a very basic kind of doodling. The doodlers were better able to remember the necessary names, and in a surprise memory test after the fact, their results were 30% better than the non-doodlers. Great. Weight loss, including surgical weight loss, can improve memory. Weight issues are something of a modern plague among humans. In 2021, about 45% of people polled across 30 countries said that they were actively trying to lose weight. There are a lot of reasons why people may want to do so, from looking better to feeling better, and also helping deal with severe medical issues like heart disease or diabetes, which can be exacerbated by weight problems. And if you're in the same boat as so many others, here's another reason to consider shedding a few pounds. Losing weight has been shown to improve memory. Kent State University conducted a study of 100 and 50 overweight people. It's known that being overweight is a risk factor for Alzheimer's, so the study wanted to see if reversing the condition would have any effects on memory. Of the study participants, some underwent gastric bypass surgery while others did not. Within 12 weeks, those who had undergone the surgery actually showed significant improvement. Researchers at Harvard have also researched into the links between the kinds of bad cholesterol from saturated fats and trans fats. They've concluded it's not just your heart, but your brain that suffers when bad cholesterol builds up. Diets high in fat and cholesterol seem to contribute to the creation of beta amyloid plaques. These are uh, found in the brains of Alzheimer patients. Women in the study who ate diets high in saturated fats and butter scored worse on memory tests than those who ate very little. Plaque from these diets seems to build up on brain tissue and deprive your brain of oxygen, thus causing poor performance on things like memory tests. Imagine this, you're on a website ready to click that catchy headline when suddenly an update notification pops up asking you to install an antivirus program. You oblige, but you don't know what's coming next. In just moments, the virus has locked you out of your hard drive and criminals are demanding money for it to be released. It's a shocking example of how vulnerable we can be when we're on the internet, and that's why today's sponsor, NordVPN, is so important. If you're looking for a way to keep your data secure from malicious actors, then look no further than NordVPN. Their reliable VPN service is the perfect solution for anyone wanting to stay secure online and protect their data from potential attacks. With NordVPN's threat protection service, all of your downloads are scanned for malware in real time before they reach your device. As well as keeping out any malicious programs, NordVPN also warns you about websites where these dangerous files are usually found and can block your computer from accidentally accessing these evil corners of the internet. Protect six of your devices with just one subscription
subscription so you can ensure that you and your family stay safe while browsing the internet. This includes Windows, Mac OS, Android, iOS, even your Android TV can be protected. Confirmed through speed test to be the fastest VPN there is, comfortably bypass any geo restrictions, and have access to all the online content you want. Plus 24 7 customer support if you need it. Try NordVPN out now using their risk free 30 day money back guarantee. When you realize how great they are, claim the special NordVPN birthday deal and get a two year plan plus a bonus gift for free by going to nordvpn.com slash top tens. Start using NordVPN now, protect yourself online, and make use of all their great features. And now back to today's video. Number seven, laughing releases hormones that improve short-term memory. There's an old saying that laughter is the best medicine, which has probably been of little to no help to most people suffering from fatal illnesses. That said, there is evidence that laughter does have some benefits to your mental health, including improving your short-term memory. Humor, and particularly laughter, has been shown to reduce levels of the stress hormone cortisol. In one small study, participants had to sit still and do nothing for 20 minutes, or watch a self-selected comedy video. After 20 minutes, a test was administered to both groups to assess short-term memory, including delayed recall, learning ability, and visual cognition. Cortisol levels and saliva were measured throughout. Members in the human group showed improvements in three areas. Salivary cortisol was considerably less as well. The conclusion was that laughter and humor have a noticeable effect, at least in the short term, on memory and recall. Number six, taking naps can boost cognitive function. If you ever find yourself feeling a little draggy in the afternoon and think maybe a quick nap will get you back on the right track, science has your back. There's evidence that nap time isn't just a nice way to get refreshed, and it can also improve your memory and other cognitive functions. All it takes is 30 to 90 minutes per day, or even less in some cases. A 2009 study showed that people who memorize a list of words and then took a nap, even just a six-minute nap, were better at recalling the words than those who didn't nap. Those who took longer 30 to 90 minutes nap don't just have better word recall, they're also better at figure drawing. One thing worth remembering is that longer naps actually become detrimental to your cognitive function rather than beneficial. At some point, you'll start experiencing the opposite results if your nap is too long, so keep them brief. Number five, riding a motorcycle improves cognition. Many of the grandmothers of the world will assure you that there's no good reason to ride a motorcycle and it's terribly dangerous and irresponsible. But if you're a fan of the open road and the wind in your hair, under your helmet of course, then good news. Riding a motorcycle actually seems to have a beneficial effect on various aspects of cognition. Research was done into men who had stopped riding motorcycles for over a decade. Half the group started riding again every day, while the other half kept driving cars or bicycles. After two months, the motorcycle group showed higher marks in cognitive function and their results on simple memory tests increased by 50% over their pre-riding results. Those who weren't riding were actually a little worse after two months. The speculation is that the heightened alertness required for riding a motorcycle engages more of your brain and thus has an improved effect overall. For chewing gum. It used to be an insult back in the day to tell someone that they'd have trouble walking and chewing gum at the same time. You don't hear that so often anymore and maybe that's a good thing because apparently chewing gum is doing you some good. Chewing gum has been linked with information retention and improved memory. In one study, students cramming for a test were split into groups with one group chewing gum and the other not. Those who chewed gum performed better and also reported feeling more alert for the exam. This may be in part due to the act of chewing gum increasing overall blood flow. As mild though it may be, it's still physical activity. It increases blood flow to the brain and can make you feel more alert. That alertness from gum chewing has been shown in more than one study. It's also been shown to reduce stress, which can help with focus. The exact reasons are still speculative. Another test on adults split participants into three groups. One chewed gum, one mimicked chewing gum, and one did nothing. They were given memory and attention tests, and the chewers scored 24% higher on the immediate word call and 26% higher on delayed word recall. Whatever the scientific reason, the results seem to keep indicating that gum will help improve your memory. Number 3. Pink noise during sleep helps improve waking memory. Many people like to have some white noise playing in the background when they sleep, or maybe they'll have a machine that plays nature sounds. But research suggests that you should do away with the white noise and instead get yourself some pink noise. Pink noise, like white noise, is relatively random. However, it has equal energy at every octave, which means it includes high frequency and low frequency sounds that make it more natural and soothing than white noise. Listening to pink noise can help improve your sleep and your waking memory as well. A test was done to determine if participants would have better recall of a memory test that they took before sleep. Pink noise, which essentially sounds like rushing water, was played at regular intervals during the night on one night and not on another. After a night of pink noise enhanced sleep, participants performed three times better on the tests. 2. Sex can improve memory 
it's always good when something you like turns out to be good for you so raise a glass to research suggesting that sex can actually improve your memory at least if you're old enough research has shown that sexual activity in adults aged 50 to 89 has noticeable benefits for their memory and cognitive abilities interestingly enough there was actually an observed difference between how this affects both men and women as well men and women of the right age who were sexually active were tested on both word recall and number sequencing men showed increases in both areas while women seemed to receive no benefit to number sequencing in animal studies rats that were allowed to have sex every day for two weeks showed more neuron growth than those who only had sex once in that time a later study of women aged 18 to 29 showed that those who had regular sexual intercourse had improved their ability to recall abstract words however there was no improvement in other areas such as their ability to recall faces number one controlling fire may have improved memory in our ancient ancestors think of how cool it must have been when one of those ancient ancestors first realized they could make fire not just by accident but by performing the same task again and again to ensure that they could always have fire whenever they wanted it no doubt that guy was super popular and until everyone else figured it out as well fire was mastered even before homo sapiens were strutting around and homo erectus was likely using it not just to cook but to scare away predators and make inhospitable locations more tolerable so that they could expand their territory cooking food both meat and vegetables would allow for changes such as smaller jaw size smaller gut and other digestive differences between us and our distant ancestors also the nutrition received altered us as well which improved social and intellectual abilities fire offered artificial light so that our day didn't have to end with the sun instead of sleeping for 12 or more hours a day our ancestors could stay awake in their caves and spend more time doing literally anything thus began a progression of cognitive growth including problem-solving skills and long-term memory it's also believed fire would have allowed for more consistent REM sleep because these ancient ancestors wouldn't have to fear predators as much with fire as a protector in REM sleep the brain is able to process memories develop build and retain skills and essentially learn from what we've done all of that could potentially be linked to fire arguably fire allowed us to have memory period 